All right, back at the world headquarters with the man, the myth, the legend, Frank Dentisi. We have a lot to get to, but I do want to remind you, March 4th from noon to 3, I will be broadcasting as we celebrate the Lenten season with those great haddock fish sandwiches available in the deli at Coons Market. Don't forget Ash Wednesday, every Wednesday and Friday throughout the Lenten season. The fish, of course, mac and cheese, halushki, and more. And I'll be there, and Frank will join me, McKnight Road, noon to 3, March 4th, 100.1 FM, AM 1020 KDK. But the reason he is here today, chili soups and stews. It's chilly outside. The rain is going to turn to into ice. You're going to want to stay home. And don't forget ship.com. They bring the groceries to your door, curbside delivery. And now it's just rain, so you can get out to one of those Coons markets nearest you. Let's talk chili. Let's talk soups, and let's talk stews, and why that's real comfort food. Well, yeah, chili this time of year when it's cold outside and you're watching a game or whatever, especially chili, um, it works out perfect. If you're having hot dogs, you can put some little bit of chili up on top of it. Nachos, yeah, chili can go on there. Just very versatile. You know, a good soup this time of year that I like is uh, chicken tortilla soup. It just hits the, it's just perfect this time of year. A little bit of tortilla strips on it. It's like a thicker chicken soup, you know. And um, stew, I always remember whenever uh, Halloween time. Every time we went for Halloween as kids, my mom and dad, my mom always made uh, beef stew every Halloween, and you just knew it was coming. And she always made good stew, and maybe a couple times other times through the year. But that we always remember this time when it's starting to get chilly out, and you think about a nice stew simmering all day. When you walk in, if it's in that crock pot, you walk in with that smell hits you. You're walking. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make him give you the ingredients for chili. So if you want to make chili, this is how you start by getting that lean, fresh ground meat. Where? At Coons Market. No one does it better. So let's talk chili from scratch. Frank Dentisi. Well, let's do it the easy way. Why not? So I'm going to get ground beef, obviously, and you're going to brown that. You'll brown that off. Uh, kidney beans. I use the uh, dark red and the light red. I mix them. Uh, you can use a ch one of them chili, the chili beans if you want to, something a little more spicy. And then um, some an onion, a couple peppers. You can get green peppers, or you can get, you know, a mixture of red, yellow, and green. Mix it up, adds a little bit more color inside it. Now the the, the trick to that seasoning, it makes it nice and easy. The McCormick spice packets. They have they have a hot, and they have a mild, and they have a regular. And you can pick that up, and that's your spice mix. So you don't have to think of all these different things to add into it. And then if there if you want a little more heat to it or whatever else with it. You can go ahead and do that. Pick up some saltine crackers, or like we used to do at home sometimes too, is putting some rice on the bottom of the bowl, and then you put the chili on top of that, and it gets a little bit of a different meal. All right, now listen, we're going to come back one more short video to get you ready for the big game, which is a week and a half away, and don't forget the Coons Cooking Hour. A week from this Sunday, February 13th, we're going to be talking about chips and dips and peanuts and pretzels and meats and seafood and great bakery items and produce, Get ready for a little home tailgate. But we're going to talk about something significant for Cincinnati fans that I learned because of this show that is the Coons Cooking Hour that they absolutely love. Wait till you hear what we tell you that Bengals fans will be eating a lot of on game day. That's next at World Headquarters, Coons Market, a Pittsburgh tradition.